Hello and welcome to this lab overview for the Biology 206 Human Physiology Lab. Uh, and in this lab overview, we're going to look at, in essence, Lab Zero, uh, Introduction and Expectations to the Lab. Uh, I'm John Hoffman. I'm a professor of biology here at Arcadia University. Uh, I'm one of the lab instructors as well as one of the lecture instructors, but in this role, uh, I'm also the laboratory coordinator. So uh, in each one of uh, the weeks of lab, uh, we're going to start out with one of these overview videos, uh, ideally, so that you're able to get a good idea about what's going to go on within the laboratory setting before you arrive in the laboratory. Uh, that way you can get uh, any final updates from your laboratory instructor and then be able to get into the laboratory and uh, get started with the activities uh, with a relatively uh, limited amount of uh, as well. So in each one of uh, the labs uh, for uh, the course this semester, we are going to provide you with one of these weekly introductions uh, with the goal of introducing you to the lab, uh, getting you uh, the basic information so that you're able to start in the lab kind of efficiently and effectively. Uh, but please keep in mind that your laboratory instructor may have additional uh, last minute updates or additional information for you. Uh, each one of the labs is also going to identify some specific lab objectives, uh, kind of give you an idea of what it is that we would like you to be able to do in the, in the laboratory activities that day, uh, as well as we'll be providing you with uh, study guides in preparation for the lab exams uh, later on within the semester. So uh, this first week, uh, what we want to do is really introduce you to the lab, um, talk about some of the technical requirements if you're going to try to do some of the laboratory activities outside of the lab itself, uh, discuss the overall expectations for the laboratory, talk about how the grades in the lab are determined and how the lab grades contribute to your overall course grade by combining with your lecture grades, uh, explain, and this is very important, uh, explain what the lab safety rules are so that you be able to both know what the rules are and why those rules are in place. Uh, and then ultimately we'll talk a little bit uh, about the lab chart reader. Uh, the lab chart reader is a uh, kind of simpler version of the software we use within the laboratory to uh, collect recordings, uh, but there is an option so that you can take your recordings, take your uh, data files in essence, uh, and analyze them on your own outside of the laboratory setting uh, as review or potentially, you know, kind of prior to lab uh, if you're interested in doing that. Now the overall course objectives, again, we've talked about this within the lecture, but we really want to emphasize this kind of understanding and kind of observing and measuring uh, living functions, physiological functions of the human body within the laboratory setting. Uh, and so we're basically going to be experimenting on human subjects, and those human subjects are either going to be you or your classmates. Uh, we also want you to be able to kind of understand these experimental results in a variety of formats. Uh, and the primary format uh, is going to be in the preparation of written lab reports uh, within this course. Now, uh, the laboratory computers uh, within uh, Boyer 2, uh, can't remember room number, uh, 205, the, the lab we use uh, for human physiology, those computers have all of the software that's needed to do the analysis. Uh, but if you're interested, you also have a version of it that is going to be available to you on a PC or a Mac. Uh, it's my understanding that right now they don't have a version that's available on tablets uh, and they don't have a version that's available for Chromebook. Uh, but in order to be able to do that, you need to be able to download uh, the software and then be able to get access to Canvas uh, to be able to get access to the sample data files we have available within the course. In terms of evaluation or grades, uh, the uh, lab grade is going to contribute 20 percent towards the final grade within the human physiology course. So 20 percent for lab, 80 percent for the lecture, so the lecture exams and the final exam. So within the 20 percent associated with your lab portion of the grade, uh, is going to be 50% lab exams and 50% lab reports. So the two lab exams are going to have the same weight as the eight laboratory reports that you're going to be preparing after the completion of each weekly lab activity. 
Now the topics that we're going to be covered within the lab uh, starting next week with negative feedback and homeostasis, uh, salivary cortisol levels the following week, then go into reflexes or reaction time and sensory physiology, and then those four labs will be covered on lab exam number one. Uh, the remaining four labs, muscle EMG and skeletal muscle function, cardiovascular effects of exercise, blood pressure, and renal function will be covered on lab two, uh, lab exam number two, at the end of the course. Now, each week in lab, uh, you're going to be a series of activities for you to do, uh, as well as a lab report that you're going to need to be able to uh, download, fill out, and then submit through Canvas. Uh, and so what we're going to be doing is using a report template, which you can download through Canvas, and that template is going to be a Google Doc. Now that Google Doc, you're not going to be able to edit it directly. You are going to have to download it either into your Google Drive folder or download it onto your computer. Uh, and then you're going to be able to fill out the lab report uh, and submit it electronically through Canvas. And then each one of those is going to be worth 10 points. The two laboratory exams, uh, as I indicated, uh, the first laboratory exam uh, coming out about the middle of the course uh, is going to cover the first four exams, uh, and then the second laboratory exam is going to cover the last four exams. Now, the type of questions that you're going to see uh, on these lab exams, uh, they're going to be related to the objectives that are provided at the beginning of each lab report. Uh, we're preparing a study guide with additional sample questions uh, to take a look at, uh, but the overall goal is to test whether or not you understand the concepts in the lab. And a portion of that uh, is whether or not you are capable of kind of recognizing, analyzing, and explaining the results that are covered in the lab. Uh, and so make sure that you are comfortable looking at the results uh, from the various lab activities. Uh, you can explain them and take simple measurements from those. Uh, important concepts that we want to emphasize this week in the lab uh, associated with lab safety. Uh, if you have allergies and the primary allergen uh, that we're going to be dealing with within the lab, uh, within human physiology lab, uh, we may be using uh, gloves. Uh, and so if you have a latex allergy, uh, make sure you let your instructor know uh, so that we make sure that we have non-latex gloves uh, available to you. Uh, in addition, if you have a, a severe allergy or any other thing uh, that you feel could be uh, coming up during the laboratory setting, please let your laboratory instructor know ahead of time so that we can have a safety plan in place uh, in case that becomes necessary. Uh, your laboratory instructor is also going to go over our laboratory safety sheet for this course. Uh, please pay attention. We want to keep everybody safe uh, within the laboratory setting. Most of this is common sense, uh, but we do want to have a, a safe lab uh, for everybody involved. Uh, and so read through this, listen to what your lab instructor is saying, sign this, turn this back into your lab instructor. We will make copies of this uh, and then provide you with uh, your original copy uh, next week in lab. Uh, in preparation for each week, uh, what we're asking you to do uh, is to watch this video preview, so the equivalent of what we're recording right here. Uh, so for each week, watch the video overview to the lab, uh, and that'll give you kind of a quick introduction to what's going to be going on within the lab, uh, and then that will be supplemented with additional updates that are provided by your laboratory instructor. We're also asking that you download and read uh, not just download, read uh, the lab report template ahead of time because this is going to kind of give you an idea what specific steps you're going to be doing within the lab. Uh, now you're going to fill out that lab report and then submit that uh, after you've completed or maybe during, uh, well you're going to fill it out during uh, your laboratory activities uh, and then submit it once you've completed and you've, you've finished the questions uh, at the end. Now, there'll be links in each one of the weekly modules uh, for the lab chart reader. Uh, as I indicated, uh, there are versions available for Windows and Mac at this point. Uh, and this is a basic version of the software that we're using within the lab. Um, main difference is that you can't record new measurements, and you don't have the hardware to do that, so that doesn't make sense. Uh, but you're going to be able to open previously saved files uh, and analyze that information.
So one example of a previously saved file uh, is available on Canvas for this weekly module, the HRV, uh, heart rate variability. Uh, and so you're able to download that, open it within the lab chart reader, uh, and be able to fool around, uh, play around with some of the basic uh, kind of physiological measurements, get comfortable with, you know, kind of adjusting the scale and, and putting uh, comments and taking measurements uh, within the lab, uh, the, the lab data that you're going to be generating. Now keep in mind that this lab overview uh, is just going to give you kind of a preview. Your laboratory instructor may have further details and updates available to you uh, each week within the lab. Uh, so check in with them uh, to see if there are anything that's changed or any updates that are, are present. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out either to me as your laboratory coordinator or your specific ed laboratory instructor, the instructor for your lab session. Thank you. Uh, have a great week, and we'll have another preview for you uh, next week.